just left uh, in Paradise, or the Hot Springs in Paradise, Nevada, and we're heading to Winnemucca in search of our next hot springs. Uh, I heard there's some out Grass Valley Road, but then somebody else told me those were closed down. So we're gonna get into Winnemucca, try to make some friends, see what we can find. I like this kind of journey. You never know where you're gonna end up. If you're going to Winnemucca Mac with me, you could ride. So I climb into the cab and I settle down inside. He asked me if I've seen a road with so much dust and sand, and I said, listen, I've traveled every road in this here land. Hey, we're going to Winnemucca. Today is Winnemucca Day. Bob and I made it to Winnemucca, where we met some locals that gave us the location of some more hot springs. So we gathered some supplies, headed out again. It was a long straight road where Bob could run and exercise, but eventually we made it to our third location and these might be my favorite. So I showed up at Kyle Hot Springs and there was a vehicle here and we have a new friend. Her name is? Mary. Mary. So Mary uh, had this tub full waiting for me. Just She's a nice lady, so we're hanging out with Mary. <laughs> Mary's an iron worker. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> 118. Union 118. Union. Or local. Local, local 118. Shout out to her homies at Local 118. <laughs> Come on, Jerry, you gotta, you gotta give me props. This has gotta be the best Scottle cooking spot ever. Come on, Jerry. So Mary and I are enjoying some venison in the hot springs. We're gonna enjoy this meal. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bob and I were taking our morning walk. The wind blew a little bit last night, but it is calm this morning. And uh, you can see, I think Reno is right on the other side of that notch. Because we could see lights. Uh, the light was illuminating up over the mountains last night. We're gonna soak in that big hot tub this morning. We might stay here all day, it depends. Um, it's a nice spot, there's lots to explore. So this morning, I'm gonna make some corned beef hash. Uh, the problem is, I don't have a can opener. I had a can opener. I've had a can opener in this box forever. Now I remember loaning it to somebody and I thought I remember them giving it back, maybe they didn't. But I don't have a can opener, so that's going on the list. Um, so now I'm going to open this. You're going to watch me with my axe. I've never done it before. I don't know if it's going to work. But I want to eat corned beef hash for breakfast, so we're going to make it work. I don't have a knife good enough to cut into it. I don't have one of those P38s or P85s, whatever those. I used to have one. My father gave me his. Anyways, we're going to start opening it with an axe. Let's see if we can do it. We're just going to beat the shit out of the can. I can guarantee you that. Okay, let's give this a try. Put my glasses so I can at least see my thumb before I hit it. That didn't seem like the way. Nope, oh, there, I thought I'd pop that seal. All right, hang on. I'm doing something. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing.
Well, we're on to something here. Okay, we got that seal bent. You see that? We got the seal bent all the way around. It's not popping open, but we're not done yet. We're not quitting. <laughs> we don't need no stinking can openers. No need no stinking can openers here. All right. ADV with Roscoe. They don't find you handsome. At least they'll find you handy. We got it. I'm also adding these uh, roasted potatoes with peppers and onions from Trader Joe's. Just give it a little bit more substance there, I guess. I don't know. Not that a whole can of hash isn't going to be enough with two eggs, but Bob and I, we got a big day today. So we're going to add some of those. Get the thing cooked up, then we'll throw the hash on there. I think we're going to stay here today because the scenery is just phenomenal. Uh, the hot tub is great. I think. We'll see. Maybe if I can get bored. But my one limitation is my battery pack. It wasn't a very far drive from uh, our last place to this one. So it didn't charge it all the way up while driving. We're getting a little low. Uh, now it's probably a good time to really be thinking uh, I wish I had solar panels because it's we got full on sun. We're charging the uh, ready light, but yeah, to keep the refrigerator running and uh, the computer charged, I'm gonna wish we had a little more power. We'll see how the day goes. Um, we also have to try to get those hot tubs thawed out, the bathtubs. I think the sun's gonna do it today, but I'm helping with some hot water. So first, let's get this breakfast cooked. Let's have our breakfast, drink our tea. I think we're gonna walk a lot with Bobby today. The key for me for uh, making my eggs not stick is a little oil and butter uh, and a hot pan. So I like yolk. I like my yolks runny. But come on, look at that. That's pretty impressive. These, these scottles are awesome. Seasoned well, they're like a non-stick pan. The olive oil and butter didn't hurt, but. Boy, would you look at that. Look at this. Hash, some roasted potatoes in it. Mmm, some sweet peppers. Look at the yolk. Oh, that's good. What a breakfast. Mmm, what a spot. All right, I'm gonna sit and enjoy it. Okay, so when we got up this morning, this was frozen and we dumped buckets of water over it and uh, got a little trickle of water to come out. It has been several hours and just as quickly as I could go get my camera, it, it went from like a stream of pee, I guess we'll say, to this. Um, we finally got it to thaw out. We're gonna leave it cracked tonight uh, and hopefully it won't freeze up again crack a little bit more but also we're going to run it and hopefully it'll thaw out the other side running next to that pipe it'll get that pipe warm enough but um yep 
This is hot enough to sit in now. We're gonna let it run for a while and uh, like I said, try to thaw out the other side. All right, we fixed it. Or Mother Nature fixed it, or gravity fixed it. Look at my dog laying down up there. Why up there? Huh. Guess he's got a good vantage point, I guess. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! Oh, come on, mother. That's the boy, come on, come on. Come on, bring it here. All the way, all the way, come on, all the way, all the way. Oh, you're a 95 percenter? Don't be a 95 percenter, Bob. Be a 100 percenter, bring it here. friend Heather is a brand ambassador for Last U.S. Bag and um, she gave me a couple stickers. So if you want to see your sticker on this table, reach out to me on Instagram. I'll give you my address. You can mail me your stickers and I'll stick them on this table. So these, this is Overland the Americas from Last U.S. Bag and here's another uh, Last U.S. Bag. They make all kinds of bags. They make like a I'm gonna call it a trasheroo. They call it the Oscar, I believe. It's made out of a different material. It's a nice bag. It really is a lot, maybe nicer than the trasheroo. I don't have a trasheroo. I don't have a Oscar either. But everybody raves about their Oscar. So, anyways, thank you, Heather. Thank you, uh, Last U.S. Bag. Let's see if we can get the sticker peeled off and. Um, Throw it on the table. How about uh, how about right here? And uh, this one's pretty cool. Instead of smoking a cigar, I used to smoke cigars. How about we put that one right here? But oh, wait, a minute. we can't cover the K2. That's just iconic. Right there. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Last U.S. Bag. If you want to see your sticker on this table, reach out to me. We'll figure out a way to contact, and uh, we'll do a shout out. All right, let's make this tea. Let's drink this tea, and uh, and then we're gonna make us some dinner. A dinner is nothing special tonight. I don't feel like cooking anything crazy, so I'm gonna heat up some hot dog, put them in mashed potatoes, and have hot dogs and mashed potatoes. That's my dinner. All right, thanks everybody.